Hey, welcome to a fresh new episode of the TD News Show and a happy Wednesday to everybody. And I know, I know, I was missing for a few days, but hey, look at me. I am back and back with uh, some gifts. You know what that gift is? Well, it's tech news because today's episode is going to be filled with tech news as usual. So let's stop talking and now I'll give you the gift, the news, the tech news. So let's start it. Let's start the show with imagination and their power VR. And I know some of you haven't heard the name of this company. Well, they used to make a uh, PCIe GPUs. I mean, PC, uh, GPUs for PCs, but then they focused in mobile market. And most of the iPads and iPhones have GPUs inside them made by imagination. I mean, their power via GPU and also some Android phone also have the power via GPU. But recently the company announced that they are coming back to the PC market with their new GPUs. Well, at least at this point of time, we don't know more about these GPUs except uh, how the GPU is going to look or as they showed us. Uh, it kind of looks good but talking about a performance well we don't know but no matter how the performance is it doesn't matter if it's bad or good if a company or another company is coming into the gpu space then it is going to be better for us because more competition we have in this industry the better it's gonna be for us the general consumer but talking about a gpu amd's big navi is not only going to be big but it's going to be fast because recently patrick shore tweeted that the new navi 21 xt could have a game boost of 2.4 gigahertz and that's a big number because recently as we have seen the 3080 was struggling to hit 2 gigahertz because of all that stuff and i'm not getting into that you can check out my previous videos for that but uh last time patrick was right and i was wrong about uh the ryzen 5000 so yeah i am believing uh, patrick for this time but at the same time there's a rumor so take it with a grain of salt but talking about right and wrong i don't know what it is but tom apisak found in geekbench database a ryzen 5 5950x overclocked to 6 gigahertz a 16 core AMD CPU overclocked to 6 gigahertz. That's a very big number. And even if we compare it to its counterpart like Intel, uh, even then it's really a great achievement. But at the same time, this benchmark has been done on Mac OS. And also we don't know what was the cooling situation while uh, the overclocker doing the overclock. It could be something exotic like LN2 or a dry eyes or who knows it could be just a custom loop and amd taking every single crown that intel has who knows it's 2020 man anything could happen even like i could hit 1 million subscriber in this year like it's 2020 but that's not gonna happen i know that now, talking about happening i don't know what's happening with amd if you thought that they skipped the 4000 because they want to streamline the naming scheme or of their CPU products, well, um, my friend, uh, you're wrong. Because it looks like they are following the footsteps of Intel when it comes to naming. So what I'm talking about? Well, the upcoming Ryzen 5000 mobile CPUs are not properly Zen 3 CPUs. Some of them are but some of them don't. The Ryzen 7 5800U is Zen 3, the Ryzen 7 5700U is Zen 2, the Ryzen 5 5600 is Zen 3, the Ryzen 5 5500U is Zen 2, the Ryzen 3 4400U is Zen 3, and the Ryzen 3 5300 is Zen 2. So it looks like that AMD is just trying to be a little bit poetic. Like, you know, Zen 3, Zen 2, Zen 3, Zen 2, you know, they, they just want to express their inner artist like the marketing team or whoever uh, fix the naming scheme they just want to you know uh, unveil the artist inside them they, they just want to tell the world how great poet they are zen 3 zen 2 zen 3 zen 2 zen 3 zen. and talking about poetry we also do poetry in this show and the name goes by 
the quick news. And you know what time it is? is? Well, this is the time for the quick news. Yes, so I'm gonna give you the quick news. So be prepared for the quick news because this is the time for the quick news. So let's start the quick news. Intel Z Dual GPU spotted on CSoft Sendera benchmark. XFX China allegedly sells almost all available Radeon RX stocks to mining firms. Nvidia reportedly moving AMP to 7 nanometer TSMC in 2021. SSD prices are expected to drop by 10 to 15 percent in Q2 2020. Xbox management hints Bethesda's future game might stay exclusive to the PC and Xbox console and skip PlayStation. PlayStation 5 gamers can submit 40 second recording clip to address harassment or abuse. Sony's spatial reality display lets you see 3D object without glasses. Google search will help you to identify that song stuck in your head by humming it. Facebook abandoned the whole Go platform. Quest 2 can't play Go games from now. And that was all for today's Tech Stuff. Now let's talk about some of the stuff I like and uh, for today I really don't have any news for you but I have uh, two movie suggestions that I definitely suggest you guys uh, to check it out first is love and monsters boy oh boy Dylan O'Brien just killed it and second the broken heart gallery man the first one love and monsters is gonna be a very light-hearted a boy and dog or a man and a dog adventure type of movie it's it's kind of a great and i don't want to reveal the plot because it's also like very interesting and i honestly i really like the movie and i definitely suggest you guys to check it out and second is uh the broken heart gallery and one thing this is uh, the movie that i needed uh at this time of the point like at this uh the situation that what i'm now uh what i'm in now but whatever check it out uh the broken art gallery you'll feel good after watching this movie believe me i uh feel awesome and talking about awesome you want to know one awesome thing well uh you don't have to watch this video anymore yes you don't because this video is ending yes this video is ending yes this is the end of this video this video is ending so if you like the video hit the like button if you don't leave it a dislike but hey just stop before you leave it a dislike i just want to tell you that the situation around the world is not good and when you dislike a video it hurts it hurts right here just look at this very closely right here okay it hurts very 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 bad so if you want to dislike um you can do it but remember it hurts and if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe well do it by here and this is akash and i'll see you guys in the next one peace